Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, November the 26th. I want to introduce you to Dr. Yusuf Kafi. Did I pronounce you right, doctor? Yes. Close you did. enough. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, from MU Healthcare. And as doctor is a good doctor is here today to talk about lung cancer screening. This is very important, isn't it? Yes, I think it's very important, and particularly on central Missouri. Because in Missouri, we have we are top 10 in terms of lung cancer incidents in the whole country, in all, of all no, states. No, really? Yes. Missouri is in the top 10 of cancer, lung cancer? Yes. Why is that? Uh, it's mostly due to the high smoking rate. We are also top 10 in, the, in, in terms of smoking in, in the state of Missouri. And one of the reasons is probably because it was taxed pretty low here over several decades in Missouri. Uh -huh. So we have a very high rate of lung cancer. Now, you're saying that we have a higher smoking rate in our state than most other states do, and you think it's because of the low tax on cigarettes, on tobacco. But what about secondhand smoke? Is that as big a problem also for people? Uh, yes, yeah, secondhand smoke is is has been proven to be an, uh, to be an issue as well. So you have a higher risk of uh, getting a lung cancer. It's about twenty percent higher than the average if you have exposure to secondhand smoke. Now, Absolutely. what if you've never smoked in your life? You've never smoked. Um, you you don't live with a smoker, but once in a while you end up going into a bar that's very smoky. Are you? increasing your chances of lung cancer significantly if you're exposed to secondhand smoke one or two times a year? Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I think that's probably fine. Um, you know, it needs to be... The repetition of yeah, it. Yeah, the repetition of daily exposure, I think, to secondhand smoke. What do we do as far as checking for lung cancer? How do we screen for it? So there's very effective screening now, which was established in 2011 based on a large national trial uh, in the U.S., which showed that a low-dose CAT scan, which is a CAT scan with very low radiation exposure, can pick up early cancers in heavy smokers. And that uh, gives us the opportunity to find cancers real early where we can treat them because the problem is that most lung cancers get diagnosed when patients have symptoms. And once somebody has symptoms, the cancers usually advance. So 80% of the lung cancers get diagnosed at an advanced stage when you can't cure it anymore. If you're not a smoker, do you still need to be screened for lung cancer? Uh, not currently, although there are some initiatives to screen uh, people who have never smoked because 20% of lung cancer patients have never smoked. So there is a very high number of people who have never smoked and still get a lung cancer. Okay, let's, let's say if you've never smoked, and I, I'm 74 years old, I've never smoked, do I need to get screened? Or at my age, you say, oh, well, you know, you've lived this long, you're probably going to be okay. Yes, we, we don't really know. You still have a you know, low chance of getting a lung cancer. Not a, it's not as high as somebody who has smoked a lot. Yeah, so as, I probably don't need to worry about no, being screened. No, right now we're screening people who have a you know, 30 pack year smoking history, so who have smoked quite a lot and were older than 55. Okay, if people want more, inf and this is serious stuff, if people want more information, what should they do? They should primarily talk to the family physician and uh, you know, discuss whether they are eligible for a low-dose CAT scan. And okay, ask if you're eligible for a low-dose mm -hmm. CAT scan. That's screening for lung cancer. Correct. Okay, or you could go to the website, which is muhealth.org. Okay, it's just simply muhealth.org. Doctor, thank you so much for coming by. It's a pleasure meeting you once again. You were here with us about two years ago. Yes, it is. Right. Thank you for coming thank again. You. All right, and happy Thanksgiving to you.